Well, we're finally starting to get into that great weather of those summer months. And with that weather comes some great times down there at the racetrack as well. But you know what? You never quite know what you're going to get when you make your way to the Toledo Speedway or any of our fine racetracks. And we're talking tonight about what makes the Super Modified such a unique race car. The Super Modified is probably one of the most unique cars in the world of racing. Taking their styling cues from old school indie cars cross pollinated with sprint cars, these low slung open wheel racers are all about speed. And who better to talk us through these machines than the two time fastest short track show in the world champion, AJ Lasecki. If you could walk us through what makes a, a Super so different, we'll start with the wing. The articulation of the wing, yeah, how does that work? You know, going into the corners, that sort of thing. Yeah, the biggest thing, like you said, difference is the wing. It's a 24 square foot wing that's run on air cylinders. Um, so depending on how fast you're going, uh, the wing will come down. Then when you slow down, the wing will come back up. So that's the biggest question we get is, is it cockpit adjusted? Right. No, it's all air. These are radically offset cars. As you can see, the motor is all the way to the left to get as much left side weight as you can. Uh, we're allowed 67% left side weight. Uh, the next thing is the tires. Every tire on this cor each corner is different, um, different size, different compound. You said, say, a car from the first one you ran to this one are very different, because these are all pretty much still purpose-built race cars. There are no two Supers that are, are very much alike, right? Correct. I mean, these teammate cars are, are similar. Um, this one was built first, and then that was built. So you can see similarities through them, um, but you can't call up and order five Supers tomorrow. Uh, so, I mean, we build a lot of stuff in-house. Um, there's a lot of people make stuff just for Supers. Yeah, but everything is unique for sure. When it comes to driving these, the offset motor, does that, how does that come into strategy at all? Or when you, you pretty much know what you're doing once you get into a Super and how that's going to react? Once you learn to react, learn how they're going to react, uh, it's kind of the same. Um, so being so offset, you really got to drive the car in the corner to get the weight to transfer, uh, which was a really hard thing to learn. You got to go faster for it to go faster, <laughs> um, especially with the arrow and just the offset. But, but once you learn it, you kind of know it, and that's and that's how it goes. And these are not self-starters, right? So you need to push vehicles to get you around and get your motor. Correct. We have in gear and out of gear, and that's it. So. And horsepower wise, what's the average super put out, you think? Uh, the average competitive super is running about 900 horsepower. So their Chevy big box engines start off as 454, um, and then everyone does a little bit of work to them and get around 900 horsepower. They run on methanol, uh, mechanical fuel injection, which is different from your everyday street car for sure. Uh, would guys who drive sprints, can they hop right into a super, or is there a big adjustment period between the two? Uh, they're different. I mean, Charlie here is running both of them tonight. Um, Kyle Edwards has run them uh, here and there. Um, I haven't raced a sprint car. I'd love to if anyone wants to put me in one. Um, but it, there's definitely similarities and differences. So there you have it. With all of these things to consider, it's no wonder why driving a Super is such a specialized skill. It's also no wonder why there's so much fun to watch. 